and welcome along. This is Virtual Farmer. And the only thing more fun than playing Farming Simulator 25 is playing Farming Simulator 25 with a group of your friends on your own dedicated server. And so in today's video, thanks to the wonderful sponsors at G Portal, we are going to go through how to set up a cloud server on G Portal and then set up a dedicated Farming Simulator 25 cross play server for you and your friends to play on. And if you want to rent your own game server from G Portal and get 10% off, just use the link bit.ly forward slash VF underscore G Portal in order to get 10% off. And now let's get into the video. And so we're starting off on the main page here of G Portal. We're going to select a Farming Simulator 25 server. Although, as you can see here, they do do a multitude of games at G Portal. We will order a Farming Simulator 25 server now. And we get a choice of how many slots. So the number of slots are the number of players who can be on your server at any time. You have, uh, you can put as many games servers on there as you want, but each one needs a certain number of slots. We're actually going to create a 16 player server here. So uh, we're, we're not going to choose any of the options that are here at the moment. Um, we're also going to get some mod space on top so that we've got plenty of space to put any mods that come out for Farming Simulator 25. So we're going to create our own configuration. And then we get a good choice of how many slots, how many days, uh, all of this set up your locations and everything like that. So we are going to make a 16 slot server and you'll see on the right hand side, once we've selected this, it will tell you how much uh, this will cost for the selected period. So for example, if I was to change it down to three days, it would tell me that that is, uh, that is gonna be six euros 20, but I'm going to do this on a 30 day cycle. Uh, you also get discounts the more days that you set it up for. We are going to go for uh, for England, for the UK, because that is where I am based. And then once we've got that done, uh, we can just click continue. With that all set up, you can then go through and enter your payment details. I'm going to pay with my balance. Uh, so you can, you can preload your account with g portal with a balance which you can pay with uh, which is very useful if you want to budget and uh, and put x amount on there so that you you can just keep going with your balance that's really really useful on here you can pay by paypal by credit card and by PaySafe as well so we will click order and then your act product will be activated on g portal and will appear in your control panel. So you can see here, I'm going to blur out uh, a lot of the information on here because obviously um, there's uh, there's some very uh, security uh, conscious stuff. So all the access data here will blur out that whole area. Um, but you can see uh, how much your server's being used, uh, all of that kind. So we're gonna we're gonna buy some mod space because we only have well. We can add mod space on later. At the moment, we don't need to. So we'll leave that as it is. And uh, and that is all set up. Now that's all set up, we can come into our Game Cloud dashboard. You can see my old Farming Simulator 22 server in here. Uh, I've got my 7 Days to Die server in here. And we've got our brand new Farming Simulator 25 server in here. So this is our Game Cloud. We can add as many servers as we want up to the number of slots we are actually using all 16 slots on our farming simulator 25 server so we can now go in here and we can edit this and uh, that is all of our details so i want to change the language over because we want our server to be in english um i will blur out all the passwords and everything um and uh yeah we're on the newest version we uh we are going to have a mods other than mod hub so that's i oh, know we're not we're only going to allow mod hub mods uh because this is a cross play server and we are all good so we'll save changes to that and then with all that set up we are ready to start the server so we'll start the server up 
and down here now we have the farming simulator web space which is where we can go and set up our server so having started up our dedicated server we can now access it here on the dedicated server control panel and here it has several sections we've got our home section here which is where we do all of the game setup we have the save games tab where we can administer and control all of our save games that are on the server we have the mods tab which allows us to upload and remove mods from the server and we have the logs file tab which shows us all of the information of the server loading up and running and if we're doing any kind of debugging of an issue on the server this is where we want to look we also have four other tabs at the top we've got logout which will log us off the server we have the profile tab which will give you user profile information you have the settings tab which has all the information about the dedicated server and also has the users that you can give access to on your server and then you have the journal where you can add any notes or any information that you want to add we're going to concentrate on the home and the mods tab for this tutorial now if you want to add mods to your server you go over to the mod screen and uh, if you want to upload a mod from the mod hub there is a, a load of mods that, that get listed here which are mod hub mods so we're going to add the uh, Agco alice series 9700 we will download that uh, and you can see that that is now added to the download queue after a minute if we give this a refresh you can see that the mod is up there and ready to go so then to enable that mod uh, you just come down here you click activate and it adds it to the active mods if you want to upload a mod from your pc you can come here and choose files and then that will open a dialog on your computer for you to go and upload the file from your PC. Finally, there is one other way on a G Portal server to upload your mods, and that is via FTP. So you have all the information, all the usernames, passwords, FTP links, and everything here to fill those in. I've blurred them because obviously this is my server and uh, and I don't want everybody having access to it. Uh, but once you uh, once you have connected using an FTP program, you can just upload mods directly to your server. So we're going to set up our dedicated server. Uh, you can set up the server name. So I'm going to change this slightly. BF's dedicated server or BF's Deddy server. You can set an administrator password. You can set a game password. Uh, you can select one of 20 game save slots. Uh, you can select from any map that you have uploaded to the server. We only have the three base game maps at the moment, so we'll select Riverbend Springs. You can set the start money for each farm. You can set the start loan for each farm. You can set the server's economic difficulty. The number of max players, we saw that set earlier outside in our game cloud control panel. So uh, that is set external to here. And you have to stop the server and set those out there. You've got the game language, which we have set to English. We've got the automatic same time, save time interval. Uh, you have the web uh, API uh, interval, um, which uh, I just tend to leave this at 360. Uh, you've got the pause game if empty. So if you want a server that only runs when you are on it, you set this to pause instantly. Otherwise, you can set it to no, and it will just run all the time. Uh, you can also set it to crossplay allowed, uh, which uh, will allow PC and console players to play on the same server. You then down the bottom have your active mods. We currently have no active mods, and you have your mods to activate. At the moment, the only thing we have on here is the MacDom pack. So if I click that and click activate, You'll see that has now moved up to the active mods and uh, that will now be available on your server. Once you're happy with the setup, click save first, then click start. That's very important. Clicking start won't automatically save any configuration changes you've made. You need to save those first. And you can see now our server name has changed and everything is up and running. So people can now search for this dedicated server in their farming simulator 
set up and uh, they will be able to go. So let's go do that and let's see if we can get on the server. So now that we're in Farming Simulator 25, we'll click on a multiplayer and we will join game. We then want to search for our game name. In this game, VF's Daddy Server. There we go. Uh, we click on that. It will ask for our server password. So we enter our server password, click start. And there we go. We are on to our dedicated server. We can pick our character setup and we land in and we're ready to go. So there we are. That is how to set up a Farming Simulator 25 dedicated server on G Portal. To get your own G Portal server, just go to bit.ly forward slash VF underscore G Portal and you'll get 10% off your order. For now, though, I'm going to leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say... Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.